can I help you? Uh, that's okay. I think I'll help myself. <laughs> Oops. Heathcliff? Not again! <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, Heathcliff, look what you've done. Leave him alone. He ain't done nothing. Hasn't done anything? Why, he is totally responsible for this poor man's condition. Why, you took that fish without paying for it. You always take fish without paying. Hmm. But you're paying for it now, aren't you, Heathcliff? Hey, don't listen to that guy. Take that fish and let's go. You're always doing bad things, Heathcliff. Stealing fish, fighting, dumping trash cans, and just generally being a bad cat. My goodness, Heathcliff, what's to become of you? Heathcliff! Heathcliff! Meow! We're real happy to see that you're all right. Heathcliff wanted to come down and tell you in person that he won't be bothering you anymore. That's right. Heathcliff's turning over a new leaf. He's gonna be a good cat from now on. Hey, Mr. Milkman, don't worry. Heathcliff's changed his tune. He won't be bothering you anymore. Thanks, Heathcliff. Oh, no! Heathcliff! Hiya, Spike, old buddy. A glorious day, isn't it, Spike? Yeah, sure. Uh, whatever you say, Heathcliff. Uh, so long, pal. Brother dear, it seems once again we have been shown the way to freedom. Yes, my dear sibling, and we shall not waste one precious moment. <laughs> <laughs> what a pleasure, not having to worry about that fat orange cat stealing my fish anymore. I don't know who this fat orange cat is, brother dear, but perhaps he should watch out for the Siamese twins! Yahoo! My fine sibling, that was a delicious snack. How about we go out now and have some fun? Ah, Chubby Poochie, you are about to battle with the, the Siamese twins. Come on. Come on, I'll myrtleize you. Yeah! It looks like those two cats are taking over Heathcliff's territory. Yeah! <laughs> What's going on? What's the trouble? 
<laughs> What's the trouble? Huh? The whole town is being destroyed by your cat! Hey, Griff! Huh? I wonder what all the commotion's about. There he is! Uh, thanks for dropping by. I thought you had learned your lesson, Heathcliff, but I guess I was wrong. Now get out of here! Oh, so I want to get a burn in because I'm going to be the darling of the swank and the black 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 and the Hey, Heathcliff, why so down in the mouth? Oh, I can't believe it. I've been good for one whole day, and still everyone's blaming me for their troubles. I think someone's trying to frame me. Well, it ain't us, Gus. Yeah, there's two new cats in the neighborhood, and boy, are they tough. Two new cats, huh? Well, that sheds some light on the situation. <laughs> Ah, oh, dear brother, looks like bigger fun than this is coming our way now. A fancy cat with a fancy hat! Hung! He is looking at you, kid. My, my, such behavior is totally unacceptable. I must teach you lads some manners. Oh, teach us manners, eh? Fancy cat, you are about to tangle with... The Siamese Twins! <laughs> well, you're about to mess with Heathcliff. against those two. Heathcliff ain't gonna do nothing unless he gets some help. I'm going in there. He's got guts, but I think he's nuts. And so are you two. Come on. It is all over for you now, fat orange cat. You have been foiled by... The Siamese Twins! Foiled, schmoiled. I ain't packing it in yet. I hope this works. So this is what doing good deeds gets me. Thanks, Hector. I'll take it from here. Oh, that orange cat. It seems that you have twin packed us. The Siamese twins! Yeah, well, that's because you have come up against the terrible fury of Heathcliff and. The Alley Cat! <laughs> Any last words before I pronounce sentence? Yes, fat orange cat. You may have won this time. But you have not seen the last of the Siamese Twins! Now, now, Heathcliff, remember you promised to be a good cat from now on. Come on, Heathcliff. You tried being a good cat, and where did it get you? So what do you say, pal? Flick the little party pooper off of your shoulder, and let's have some fun. Heathcliff, you're one cat in a million, without a doubt. I know you cats can feel the heat from Wordsworth's Funkadelic Tea. Ha! <laughs> hey, boss! 
listen to this. Wow, you cool kitties. This is your feline with the beeline, Chewy Kelp. Hold on to your tails, because I'll be hosting the biggest prize-filled breakdance contest ever. Where? At the Bobbin Furball Club. That's where. First prize is a year's supply of Kitty Wonkers cat treats. Yummy, yo! Wow, 12 months of chow, and Wordsworth's gonna win it for us. Give me a break, Jake. I mean it. With your cool dance moves, we can't lose. I don't mean to sound conceited, but I really can't beat it. Okay, tryouts for the breakdance bash are tonight. Be there or be square. Come on, Wordsworth. Let's start training for it now. We're gonna bop at the furball. We're gonna bop at the furball. You're a jinx, Mungo. I don't want to see you near that furball club tonight or ever. Hey, I wonder why the guys are so sore. If I sneak inside the pop and furball, maybe I can straighten things out. The guys will never recognize me in this disguise. <laughs> oh, oh boy, I can't wait. I've got to get in there and see the chewy jump. DJ Chewy Kelp howling for the great dance tryouts to begin. Here, okay, Pearly White and the Gump Twins, strut your stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, yeah, whoa, yay. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that Pearly Slob dancing or playing bitch for? <laughs> By a uh, process of elimination, Pearly's on his way to the winner's circle. Oh, no. <laughs> he will join our other two tryout winners, Mr. and Mrs. Rob Serling. Tell the fans to scream and shout. Now, Wordsworth's ready to peel out. Excuse me. <laughs> Runaway jump through. <laughs> hey, cat, take that crazy new dance step. It's the Mongo Mash. Mongo Mash. Mongo Mungo, you've mashed your way right into the winner's circle. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all I can't yeah. believe what I see. Mungo won over me. Quick, we got to get him shaped up for the big showdown. But what about me? Listen, play your cards right, and we'll let you teach Mungo some new steps. <laughs> Yeah, and now that Wordsworth's a has-been, should he really be teaching me to dance? Has-been? Mungo, you're a dancing fool. I'll pound my beat into you. Oh. You know what Mungo needs? A miracle. I think some flashy threads will do the trick. Then he'll at least look good. Behold, seal skin mitts. Now you can slip your way to the big time. Hey, <laughs> let the great dance contest begin right now. Here's our first contestant, Pearly White. Uh, who's there? Mongo! I need your help! 
Yeah. Well, what's the matter, Rob? I fainted. Feel better? Sometimes stage fright can do that. But this is our last chance to make it in showbiz. It means so much to me, I... If we don't win this contest, our dreams will be shattered! <laughs> Please don't cry. I'll think of something. for our next contestant, Rio, the inventor of the Mongo Mash himself, Mongo! <laughs> I said Mongo! What's keeping that clown? Mongo, Mongo Mash! Mash. Mongo, Mongo Mash! Mash. Yeah. First I was a caterpillar big and fat, now I am a butterfly. Think of that. Yeah, this isn't the Mongo Mash. Float along the breeze. up like a jerk. Butterfly, huh? Yeah, I can explain everything, boss. Yeah, now for our last contestant, Rio! <laughs> Real Troopers, Beryl and Rob Serling. They're dressed in our costume. Yeah, now, fellas. Hey, he's gonna bury the Serlings. Later, guys. I gotta stop that creep. Yeah, you're doing a bad thing. Huh? Oh! Uh Better hide from the guys till things cool off. I got it. I'll lie down and pretend to be knocked out by this sandbag. Where could that half-sized walnut brain be? When he catches my eye, the fur's gonna fly. Out of my way, dancing drips. I want a boss a nova on Mungo's face. Well, you guys ain't gonna lay a finger on Mungo. That's right. We're gonna use a whole fist! Oh! Mungo gave us his costume when he found out how much we needed to win. A better cat never lived! We'd like to keep it that way if you catch my drift. Gosh, Mungo did that? His brain is like hash. But he sure has panache. Come on, guys. Let's find Mungo and apologize. Mungo! He's been hurt! This sandbag must have hit him. The big palooka was always soft in the head. Well, wake up, Mungo. You just gotta be okay. Yeah, hello. Uh, are you still mad at me? No. Of course not. Uh-uh. Oh, goody. Then you can all buy me a Sunday. I'm starving. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Yeah, how the little people adore me. <laughs> when you decide to choose a dog for a pet, the first thing you should think of is the dog's size. Very large dogs may frighten young children, and uh, even if they are just playing, can cause a serious injury if they bite. Small dogs aren't recommended as pets because they're too fragile for roughhousing with the kids. But a dog in the middle should be just right. Goldilocks never had to put up with this. <laughs> <laughs> 